Hello guys, welcome to the channel. Bob here. <coughs> Today we're back with uh, Betrayal at Cromdor, carrying on our, our mission now. Um, I think I probably need to rest actually. Let me just have a quick look. Uh, yeah, Gor uh, Goraf's in a right old, uh, right old mess. Uh, Lockie, Lockie and crew are not doing so well at the moment. Let's change some of this stuff as well. And let's just drop some of this crap. Oh, what the hell? Yeah, Gorath walked into a trap, a couple of lamp posts. He sort of just walked between them essentially. And took uh took a hundred damage. <laughs> it was and that was that essentially. So now he's kinda of limping around. We're trying to keep him going. I'm just dropping some of this stuff that I probably don't need. What's Lock Lear got? Uh let's get rid of that. No, no, no. Let's get rid of that. Yeah, so Gorath's in a right old state. <coughs> um, so we desperately need to get to Crondor as soon as possible. I think it's this way, sort of following this road now, kind of south westerly, westerly kind of thing. And we can certainly can do without any more combat. Okay, do these guys move? Oh, they do move. Can I? Ah. Uh, God, no, I tried to get around him, but I couldn't. Okay, Lockley struggled to make sense of it all, blah, blah, blah. I'm not quite sure what, he's, what he keeps struggling to make sense of, but here we go. Um, oh, there's three of them. Who's going first? They're going first. Oh, no, we're going first. Uh, get in there, Lockie. Oh, good hit, sir. Uh, now, Gorath can... Gorath can do nothing. No. I haven't got the option for him to fight, so he's just going to rest, I guess. Uh, Owen's on five health. Oh, I've made an absolute ricket here, haven't I? Absolute cock up I've made here. I don't know why. Um. Oh, oh God! <laughs> Holy smoke! Oh man! I don't know why. I don't know why Owen. Oh, they're running away. Gorath, you know, just rest, Gorath. Just, just rest, mate. I don't know what happened there with Owen. Massive cock up. Gorath still can't do anything. What's that? I'm gonna attempt to retreat. No, well they're running away now, aren't they? So uh, Lockley is low on, low on health as well. Gorath just can't do anything. Oh, holy smoke, what the hell is wrong with Locklear? Oh, God. <laughs> well, <laughs> I think probably we're going to be reloading, reloading this, guys, by the looks of things. Um, yeah. Okay. Well, that's my first complete fail there whole party died. I don't know what happened there. I don't know why uh, Owen was in such a bad way. I didn't realise that, that the whole party was in was in a was in dire straits. Um, right. Before I do that, then let's have a quick look. Yeah, he's got no stamina and he's low on low on hit points. Okay. So we're gonna use a bit of healing here. And then we're going to rest again. Um, I'm not sure if it's, it's worth doing that with Gorath, but we'll give it a go anyway. All right, let's rest. And I hope you don't I hope you don't get attacked when you're resting. Uh, camp until healed. Let's see what that does. Oh, that's two days. Stop! Bloody hell, that was a lot of days. <laughs> uh, Gorath's gained some hit points. He's still, he's still in a bad way. I guess when you get to the condition of wh whatever Gorath is, then uh, it takes so long to get all your health back. But, um, but he's now of sound, he's now of sound, sound, uh, sound body slightly. Let's dump this stuff again that we just had. Just 
change the armor around. There we go. How's Lockley doing? He's got some better armor that he can use. And he's got a better weapon as well. Let's drop that crappy armor. Who's got the uh, the whetstone? Let's just, let's, uh... Right, so we've buffed up uh, Locklear's weapon. <coughs> right, so we're, we're kind of better prepared for something that might happen. Let's save game. Uh, save doesn't even ask you about um <laughs> about do you want to overwrite just does it for you okay let's carry on now we're going to try and avoid a fight with these guys if we can i just want to get to crondor now i don't think i can, probably can't take a shortcut i don't think um oh i saw oh there we go ow do they follow you uh kind of hanging around aren't they can i go this way no. It looks like sort of, you know, if they're standing there in the road, you get to a certain distance and they're going to attack you regardless of what happens. Um, Owen is standing next to someone, which is no good. Oh, that's it, Lockie. You need to get a hit in. Oh, and Mr. Gorath, thank God. Now, can, can Gorath do anything? Oh, he can attack! Gorath can attack! He's a... Uh, or should I just rest? Ah, oh, he didn't gain anything for resting. That's a bit of a pain in the arse. <laughs> the other two are shooting at Gorath. <laughs> There's no point in him resting. It's a complete waste of time. <laughs> Bloody hell. Oh right, we've got one running. We've got one running away. Okay, let's blind the uh, despair thy eyes on the one attacking Gorath. Oh, good hit. Oh, no, Gorath can't stick. Can't even hit the blinded one. <laughs> guys completely legged it again. Oh dear. You do kind of have this thing don't you? I mean I'm not sure the monsters get more intelligent but uh, they're definitely getting close to your spellcaster. Um, so your spellcaster has a bit of a bit of an issue. Now let's just rest. Gorath rest, Locklear doesn't really need to rest. Bosh. <coughs> oh, holy smoke, Gorath. Get out of the way, man. Now what will the uh what will the enemy guy do? Oh, he's going for Locklear, that's good. That's a good hit. <coughs> Quite sure if it's worth going. He's got no. Uh, he doesn't appear to have any. Um, he's got no range or anything. He doesn't seem to be adding much at all. Really, he's pretty much pretty much knackered until. Uh, right, let's see if we can get a bit of resting in here for everyone. It will cheat this, I think, probably. Like when you're down to one guy, have a bit of a rest just to try and get all of your all of your life back. I guess. I mean, I suppose as soon as he uh, as soon as he hits Locklear, <laughs> he's going to lose all of the uh, all the stuff that he's gained. Oh, Locklear's not gaining anything else, so uh, we might as well uh, have a swing. Nope, missed. Come on, Lockie. Uh, this guy must be defending because he keeps sort of he keeps counter attacking whenever uh, 
whenever I go to hit. Oh, there we go. Whew. Okay. So if our two guys run away, oh, not clear, but the abilities have increased. Cool. Two guys running away. What's this guy got? Oh, he's got a very good crossbow. He's got some healing. He's got some arrows. Right now. Healing. Let's give all the healing to uh, to this guy. Oh, cool! He's on maximum. Let's give it to Goraf. See if we can get Goraf. See if we can sort Goraf shape out in any way, in in some way. Um, let's, give, let's give it all to Goraf. I'm not using the horn thing yet. Okay, what's Gorath's condition? Ah, oh that's good, so he's not near death now, which hopefully means that he'll sort of... maybe he'll heal up at a, a, a better rate. Oh, thank God for that. Right, where's the road again? Let's make sure I'm going the right way. I don't know what you guys are thinking of this so far. Hopefully, <laughs> it's not too bad. And I'm quite enjoying the game, I have to say. I mean, it's incredibly cheesy, which I love. Um, the combat... I'm not sure about the combat at the moment. I'm assuming it maybe it can be a, a, a bit more tactical. Tactical, I should say, as you get further into it. But certainly, yeah, certainly having a good time. And I quite like the visuals, even. You know, it's quite a good style. Right, I'm hoping that... We oh bloody hell! I wonder if it's I wonder if it's more dangerous moving at night. Don't know. I'm hoping we're going to be pretty close to Grondor. No idea what that means um, or what happens when you we get to a big city. Maybe it's just uh, maybe it's just um, maybe it's just like the other the other sort of little villages. You know, where you just got a, a load of buildings, but but you've got more buildings. A bit scary at night because you can sort of hear things wandering around. And I don't want to just walk straight past Crondor. It thought that would be pretty difficult to do. Oh, the path turned. After a few minutes of travelling, the road began to slope towards the sea, leading through, leading eventually through a pair of iron gates and into the majestic seat of the Principality. Crondor, Locklear said with a sigh that seemed to... Ah, Crondor, <laughs> Locklear said with a sigh <laughs> that seemed to indicate both relief and concern. If assassins have been sent against us, it seems a safe bet they'll be lying in wait for us between here and the palace. What's your guess, Gorath? Do we go in now or not? No. OK. So what we're going to do is we're going to camp first. Camper two healed. Oh, look at that, Goroff, Goroff's hardcore. He's back. He's back in the game. It's daytime. Uh, things are getting low. Rations are getting low. But I reckon we're going to have to sort of fight our way through some um, some assassins here, maybe. No. Hey. Goals wheeled in the sky over the capital of the Western Realm, weaving daring circles about the parapets of the palace, narrowly avoiding the prince's standards which fluttered in a salty breeze. Below, the city folk of Crondor took little notice of the majestic display as they hurried about their own affairs. Oh, I haven't exited Crondor, have I? Oh, Lord, what the hell am I doing? Back to Crondor, please. doing oh here we go yes just get in there there's an inn or the palace or there's shop or oh, let's go to the shop first Owen snorted the mar market district in Crondor he said containing his amusement why don't we just take all our possessions and give them away instead the mockers are thick as porridge in there and the local merchants hike up the prices accordingly we're better off buying outside of the city okay fair enough uh, sign of the eagle. 
Oh, it's a it's a thingy shop. We don't need to go in there. There's another little shop over there. Yeah, he doesn't like the shops, I mean, does he? Touch gem touchstone gems, let's see what they're selling. Oh wow. Emeralds? Ring of Prandur? What does that do? On many occasions only to blah 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 blah. Oh. This ring lightens darkened rooms apparently. So there's all sorts of sort of magical items and stuff as well. I wasn't expecting that. Amulet of the Upright Man. I mean, looked at the medallion sceptically. Cron Cron soon now it's blah blah blah. Okay. Not sure what that does. But okay, so you can sort of buy magical items as well. Okay. Let's go out of that shop. Let's have a look at the inn, shall we? Great inn. Shady looking characters. Uh, busty wench. This guy's the innkeeper, apparently. Um, no, we're going to save our gold. We're not going to sleep in the inn. Let's talk to the wench. She wants to sell us stuff, which is fine. We could probably do with some more. Um, we could probably do with some more rations, actually, couldn't we? Let's try haggling again. Okay. Oh, I think I've got a discount there. Awesome. Share with party. Yeah, excellent. Let's buy some more. Haggle again. No. Oh, bloody hell, look, he's not selling us them anymore. Oh. Huh. Well, okay, fair enough. Who's this chap? Lock clear motion to the figure across the room. The man walks over to join them. Oh, okay. Nivek. Senor Locklear, good to see you. Interesting news. Interesting news. Oh, really? Uh, okay, you can't talk about it now, so we'll come back later and talk to him about some juicy gossip that he's got. Uh, the man scowled, apparently far more intent on something going on across the common room. He seemed uninterested in Locklear's repeated attempts to chat. At <laughs> last he glanced up and gave an exasperated sigh. What exactly do you want? Just a little friendly talk, Locklear said, with a companionable smile. News gossip, a song perhaps? Well, go and find a bloody jongleur then and leave me be. I've got better things to do than entertain every jackaboo <laughs> that comes through that door. Fair enough. Okay. Right, we've, we've left it long enough. Let's enter Crondor. See what happens. Locklear made a face as he shook the bars. For all the troubles he had been through to get them all alive to Gondor, the locked palace gate simply added insult to injury. Calling out to the gate master angrily, he pounded the hilt of his sword against the portcullis. Stirred by the racket, a young man <coughs> that libered in the colours of the Crondorian lads strode out of his watch house and squinted at them, snapping up his bardiche which leaned against the interior wall. Would you get this gate open, please? Locklear said. We have business with the prince. Ah, oh, bloody hell, stroppy guards. The gate gate's broke. <laughs> Three nights. <laughs> oh dear. The walls won't be any getting through until we can find the plans of the portcullis. The castle engineer is absolutely livid. Locklear accepted news of irritation, but knew of nothing else that could be done. Could you go and get Prince of Rufa for me then? It's a rather urgent matter. Again, the guard shook his head. He's meeting with Pug of Stardock and s some Surani fellow named Makala. Maybe in explicit, explicit instructions, he wants to be disturbed unless the castle is burning down around their ears. Uh, he wants to, and then, can we go and find James? The guard cut him off with a shake of his shaggy head. Been missing for two days. No one knows quite where he's off to, but you know how James can be. Locklear nodded all too well. My bump of trouble tells me he's looking for whoever sabotaged the gate. Sabotaged? The, gate looked, the guard looked puzzled, as if the thought hadn't occurred to him. Why would anyone do that? I'm not sure. But if the fault occurs to me, I can guarantee you it's occurred to James. Is that Senor, Senor James? Is that how it's pronounced? I'm, I'm, uh, I'm not quite sure. Which? I'm not quite sure which. Uh, which uh, which one that is. Receiving his sword, Locklear bid the guard farewell and motioned for the companions to follow him. I have a feeling that the only way to solve both our problems is by going through the sewers that leap up beneath the city. <laughs> Locklear whispered, hurrying them to the northern gate. There is a secret passage that will leave us into the palace, and also suspect we may bump into James down there. Senor James down there as well. 
So where is the secret passage? Through all oh, sewers, there we go. Okay. Lockley led the way down. Twice he nearly lost his footing on the treacherous climb, but at last they arrived safely on a precipice of rock just below the northern gate. Okay. Too thick to allow a determined effort at entry, the door was probably set over the sewer entrance to prevent odours from offending visitors passing through the northern gate. Okay. Oh, we've got a little spyglass, look. Was there something hidden, hidden in that hole? Well, I don't know. Was there? Oh, cool. Oh. Found, some, found some coinage in the, uh, in the hole. Okay, here we go. Oh, God. Locked up Paul's door open. Immediately he was overwhelmed by the stench of the sewers. <laughs> and looked back to Owen for his advice. Smells awful down there, he said. Are you sure you're ready to go in? Yes. They made their way into the reeking blackness. Oh dear. Ah, and, and now we're confronted with a, a Dungeon Master Eye of the Beholdery type, uh, type environment. A figure moved in the tunnel. Seemingly having appeared from, from nowhere, a young boy halted them before they could move any further ahead. Oh, some chap called Lim from the School of Great Hair. Uh, who be you and what would you... Who be you and what would you in the Thieves Highway? I am Signor Locklear and I do whatever I will in the Prince's Sewers. <laughs> if you're half as intelligent as you seem, then I'll advise you to step out of our way. Fast with a blade I am. Step any further and I'll do you, I will. Okay. <laughs> the only thing you, you will do, my young friend, is die an unfortunate death on the point of my sword. I used to spar with Jimmy the Hand, and I'm a faster blade than he. Do you still wish to cross me? Jimmy the Hand? He's a legend, sire. <laughs> Next you'll be telling me you've lain with the Emperor of Lakeisha, of Kesh. I'd advise you to be nice like, however. Because I've got five blokes waiting a little on down to make sure nothing happens to me. See, I don't suppose you've come on behalf of Signor James, have you? Blah, blah, blah. Then you know, well, okay. Okay. <laughs> Got affairs of my own. <laughs> oh, pick locks. Five golf sovereigns for a block pick. Get stuffed, you little cheat. Okay, goodbye. Right, back to the dungeon then. Okay. We are, of course, uh, bound to get horribly lost down here. Depending on if it's sort of a massive... Uh, I think if it's a big dungeon or not. Oh, some stairs going up. Where will that take us? The ladder disappeared into a small dark hole in the ceiling. Climbing several rungs, Gorath turned to the others and called. There's a locked grate up here. Shall we try to open it? Yes, go on then. Let's use a key. Lockley turned the key slowly. Feeling some resistance, he applied a bit more pressure. Play praying he had the right key and that the mechanism inside wasn't hopelessly jam. Okay. Let's try and pick it then. Not don't know how pick lock picking works. Right, okay, but maybe Owen I mean, can unlock it? Ah. Let's try again. No, Owen, I mean, try once more. No, Owen I mean, doesn't appear to be able to do it either. Right, okay. Well, let's carry on looking for a way out. A 
pretty pretty bland looking old uh, dungeon I have to say and of course I'm not mapping it does it map it for you um, no okay oh, as soon as that maps it for you awesome so we uh, we shouldn't get lost then God knows what that sound is I'm assuming it's a bloody uh, I'm assuming it's a dripping, something dripping or whatnot. <laughs> it's water. No, it's supposed to be water dripping. Whatever it is, it's bloody annoying. <laughs> right, we're back to the steps. Quick look at the map. Okay. Now, there's something on the floor over there, isn't there? Let's have a look. Oh, it's a chap. Someone lying on the floor. And some rations. Share with party. Some dodgy old sabre, which we're not interested in. Is there something else there? What's that? Okay. It's... Oh, we unlocked it. I should have uh, got some hemp. Okay, I think Gorath's got. Uh, I think Gorath's got a spell that checks to see if uh, if chests are trapped. I should have should have uh, used that, shouldn't I? I have to say, it's, the graphics are really kind of really grainy. It's difficult to see that chest on the floor there. <laughs> Here we go. Fight in the sewers. Da -da -da. Still, we've got Gorath back. Oh, bloody hell, look at these guys. Wow. Uh, Owen can't really fight. Good hit. Wow, these guys are pretty good. Bloody hell. I guess Owen can keep one of them keep one of them quiet. Oh, <laughs> yeah, Owen just run around, <laughs> keeping one of them out of the fight for a bit. Oh, come on, Gorath, can't afford to miss, man. Whose go is it? No, oh, Mr. Gen. Mr. Gen. Oh, got hit. <laughs> oh, good shot. Oh, yes, Gorath. He's such a hard nut, Gorath. Ah, cool. Um, the other injury guy's gone in for uh, Gorath, so... He can cast a spell? Missed. Going to rest. Uh, Lockley is wow. He's Lockley was well out. Oh. Oh, bloody hell! Let's despair their eyes again. Not quite sure what it does. I can only ah. Oh, well done, Lockley. Get some resting going on. Oh, well, that was bloody useful, wasn't it? Let's, uh, <laughs> we're down to our last guy. Let's blind him. And let's get some, let's, let's get some resting going down. Oh, good hit, Gorath. Oh, bloody hell. Oh, Gorath's on a right, right old mess. Oh my god. <laughs> it's not working out too well, is it? Lockley's going to have to come to the, to the rescue. Oh, Gorath. What the hell is going on? Wow, this guy's tough, isn't he? Whew. 
Whew, bloody hell. No. We don't seem to be able to lose anyone at the moment. Um, Gorath didn't die. Now what are these guys carrying? Oh, what the hell is that? A brooch. Oh, okay. Oh, we'll take that. What is that? Armorous hammer. Okay, so I can probably repair my armor, maybe. Oh, no. Oh, okay, Gorath. Okay. Rations, gold, healing, which we definitely need. That was a pretty difficult fight, that one. More gold. Oh, and a good, it's a good set of armour. Nope. Can't carry it. Nope. Okay, fair enough. Let's see how they have the... Ha <coughs> ah! <laughs> Excellent. Let's draw that. <laughs> That's good. Right, so we can we can repair some armor, which is pretty neat. Uh, okay, let's drop all the other armor. Whetstone. Let's uh, get whetstone to Gorath. There we go. Gorath, bit of healing. How's uh he's okay. How's Locky looking? Locky strength has gone up. Oh, okay. Defence and what 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 not has gone up. Um Armor craft, I'm gonna turn that off. I think. Apparently the less skills you have highlighted the quicker they go up, so uh, we'll do that. bit of healing there as well. Right now, can we camp in the sewer? And is it wise to camp in the sewer? I think we have to camp until healed actually, because Gorath... No, let's stop. Oh, Gorath's in that situation again, isn't he, where he's, uh, he's near death. Oh, God. Um... I don't think I've got anything along anything to help him along the way, which means that he's probably gonna not he's probably gonna be out of combat. Have we been this way? Nope. Another set of stairs. Oh, It's Jimmy. Bloody hell, your hair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's got issues with his hair. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> I have a night hawks we got attacked by. Bloody hell. <laughs> I'm not going to read this bit, guys. I'll leave it for a bit so you can read it. Bloody hell, those elves again, eh? Ah, so, uh. So, uh. Is it Gothar Gorfar? What, I can't remember his name. He's, uh. He was one of the clan chieftains. And he's come to talk to Prince Arufa.
Okay. So we've met Jimmy, Jimmy the Hand. He's given us a key. Which hopefully means we can get out. So they were, we got those guys in black were night hawks, but imposters. Um, blah, blah, blah. Let's see what spells. I think, uh, I think he's got a spell. Candle glow. Oh. oh. Oh, it costs health to cast. Wow. Okay. No, we won't bother with that. No, we don't want to cast it. Oh, God. <laughs> God. <laughs> oh, well, that's rubbish. Anyway, let's, let's see if we can cast that spell that, um... A spell that checks for traps. That costs health as well. Yeah, I can't really... Oh, there we go. More rope. Okay. They like a bit of rope down in the sewer here. Right, so let's get in. This video has been going on for quite some time now, guys. And it is only going to be one video, I think, so I'm going to finish soon. Let's just get back into the palace. Use the key, please. Oh, you're kidding! <laughs> it's not the key for this this one. Oh, man. The last thing we need to be doing is getting attacked again. Let's go. Let's go back to the other, the other grate. Come on, please let us out. Please be the key. Oh man! Okay, so we're still sucking the sewers. And I'm moving by the map. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. This is Oh okay, I've been this way yet. Yeah. I'd better go back onto the thing actually, hadn't I, in case I miss uh in case I miss, I miss another set of stairs. No more fights please. We just don't need it. Ah okay. Where does that go? The, they descended the stairwell. Halfway down this spiral, they discovered a heavy iron door. Uh, looks like it's rusted shut. Okay, so we went down there, and there was a there was a rusted door thing, rusted door that we couldn't get through. Oh God, who are these dudes? <sighs> I can do without a fight. Oh, what's his face is in a terrible state. Gorath. Right guys, I'm going to stop this video and I'll be back with the next bit as we try to get out of this infernal dungeon. Thanks for watching and I'll speak to you again very soon.